Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy a range across multiple worksheets. Let's say for example you're building out um, a workbook and you're building out a table here, you have all the formatting done and you have to do it across different worksheets. Now you want to have the same format for a table and have it across maybe 5, 10, 15 worksheets. And this is maybe something that you can give to somebody and, and they see their own name there and they fill out certain parts of that worksheet. Uh, let's kind of build one for example. Um, let's say that I just have an item. I'll, I'll call this, I just make a simple small table. Uh, maybe it's uh, a small table that is across quarters of a year. Uh, so we have Q1, Q2. Let me go ahead and just type those first two out and just uh, drag the fill handle out here. It'll fill out to Q4, Q3, and Q4. Item, I'll just call it item 1 and then item, item 2. And just select that and kind of drag it out here to item 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and format this with borders let me see and then maybe make the header uh, a nice little blue color and this may be a template for others to fill out so one way we can do this is we can go ahead and right click and go ahead and make a copy of that so we click that and make a copy uh, there's an another copy there and now we can just change the name uh, to reflect uh, who it's going to be for or what it's going to be for and they're basically uh, the same content now but what if we had to make 10 of these 20 of these uh, of the same thing we just want to kind of make our initial template um, just right and after that copy it over now you can right click and, and do move copy and do it again or you can just select um, this and uh, copy it into a new worksheet and it's kind of a lot to do but there's a shorter way an easier way to do this uh, let me go ahead and delete this one and what, what we can do here is we can use a keyboard shortcut to go ahead and make uh, our different worksheets. So I'm going to go ahead and add different worksheets. So the keyboard shortcut to add worksheets is Shift F11. Now using a keyboard shortcut is going to be much easier than going to home, going to insert, insert worksheet. If you see insert another worksheet here, I'm going to have to do that multiple clicks. Let me go ahead and delete this one. Now the, to do that, all I need to do is press Shift F11 and I can do it multiple times. Uh, uh, right now I'm just pressing shift F11 and the keyboard shortcut is much easier because you're not having to go and click and click and click. Now with all those um, created, let's say I, I'm just going to create this, amount, this much. I can go back into sheet one and select this range and go ahead and press the shift button and select sheet 12. See now you kind of see that it's kind of highlighted a little bit more. It's highlighted in bold. So basically it's uh, grouped them. It's activated all the sheets. And once that's done, what I need to do is under the home tab, go to fill and I'm going to fill across the worksheets. So now after that's done, um, well, it's going to ask you if you want to fill just the contents or the formats or everything. So I want to do everything after I create my template for one sheet and I want, I just want to have the same table for everything else. I'll click OK. And now you notice if I go into each of the sheets, they have the same table and the same formatting uh, that's done. So that's a really quick way. Once you have created a template uh, for your sheet, and if there's something where you know all you need to do is just create the template table, and you're going to send it out to people and have them fill out their particular portions of it, this is a real fast way to do it. Instead of going under, instead of, instead of copying, pasting, or inserting, or or moving, uh, move or copy this way. So basically, we're using a bit of a shortcut using a keyboard shortcuts, and we're using the uh, fill command and fill across worksheets to do this. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.